Hey friends, it's me Jenny with another t-shirt cutting video. In this one I feature four tank tops that I got from Target for only $3 each, and I dye them with two different colors of Rit dye, navy blue and purple. I start by cutting off the tags and laying down a plastic bag. I wound up using some of the rubber bands on the shirts for the dyeing, but as you'll see later down the line, after all the painting with the dye that we did, it kind of blends in. When I read the directions, I realized that I needed a bunch of salt. Alright, so it says for best results, we need a ton of salt. Um, a whole cup of salt, which I definitely do not have. So I might have to go get some salt and come back. Okay, I already started painting some shirts. So yeah, I got this awesome Rit dye, and I'm just painting a couple of shirts that I got from Target. They were on sale for like three bucks. Pretty much I got squigglies on the front, squigglies on the back, and I'm just trying to paint the same design on both the front and the back so that it, when it soaks through, it doesn't really look too messed up. But you know what? We can't really mess up right now. We're totally making the cute shirt, and it'll look cute no matter what. So I haven't done too many shirt videos on my shirt channel lately. Is it still recording? I guess on TikTok you actually need a thousand followers before you can stream on there. I'm open. I like to try different platforms and Facebook, you know, I've streamed on there a couple times, but that's always awkward. Uh, you can do this splatter paint technique where you go whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> I've been doing like 3D art so much that uh, it feels good to like hold a paintbrush. I got the XP pen last year and it's actually a drawing display with a pen. I got these three other shirts so I'm not really exactly sure what I was going to do with them. Either paint them, tie them up with rubber bands and or when we're done. Oh yeah, I have bleach too. Yeah, I'm trying to make a new video for the DIY with Jenny channel. In the winter it's too cold for that. Yay, that was so much fun. I thought this was a clever way to separate the layers of fabric by putting a paper bag between the shirt. Alright friends, we're just experimenting here. We'll see how it goes. So right now it kind of looks like a starfish and it's going to have, I guess, a donut on the front and the back. Maybe we can have another ring so it's like two donuts on the front. Has anyone here ever done the donut tutorial for Blender? It's kind of like a rite of passage for anyone that's learning 3D art. We have this super fun little octopus thing. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think that that's got enough dye on it. On the tank top that I painted the stripes on, I was inspired to try to make it like this dress that I was making for this cartoon character the other day. We can definitely use these designs for inspiration in the future when we use some better fabric dye. I actually have not done too many tie-dyeing projects, so this is one of the first tie-dyeing projects that I've done. After I did the first layer of paint, I let the shirts lay out overnight and they were all salty and crusty the next day. <laughs> the next day I did a second layer of paint on the shirts but I think it just didn't matter because of the way we the way we rinsed out the dye. Yeah, I don't know if there's a better way to preserve a design on a shirt using Rit dye like how we tried to do, but I think that it's maybe just not the best dye for um, painting directly on a shirt like this. We'll try some better paints next time. Here's some awesome lipstick that I was trying on from NYX that I got. The shade is called STFU, like shut the f*** up. <laughs> I like NYX because it's a vegan brand. The ingredients, they're animal friendly. Cleared a little space here because I was planning to cut some shirts. I got them hanging up on the wall right behind me. So the unique thing about these shirts that I, that I started the other day is that I used Rit dye to color the shirts. You really can't tell that they were painted. They just look like they were dyed maybe, but... We actually applied the paint by hand, like with a paintbrush. By hand, but like with a paintbrush, you know? Yeah, pretty much once I w went to rinse out the dye, it mostly 
blended together so you can't really tell all that painting that I did. Oh, you can kind of see in the light with this light right here. There is some squigglies across the shirt. Um, so this one is it's an extra large. This other one is a large. So I was thinking that I could cut both of these shirts and put the extra large on the outside of the large one and then weave them together on the mannequin. So first I have to cut them. All right, I'll start with the large one first since actually that's the smaller of the two and then we'll put it on the mannequin and then we'll cut the other one. The next phase of this awesome t-shirt project was where we weaved the two shirts together and I basically cut the same designs on the front, the back, 
And then we put both shirts on the mannequin and then I just carefully weaved them together. All right, I'm just going back and forth, getting um, one color and then the other and alternating, pulling them through. This is literally the first time I've weaved two shirts together like this, so hopefully it turns out all right. When I weaved the shirts together, doing this type of t-shirt weaving will get better with practice and just trust me when I tell you that I have ruined plenty of shirts so if you're starting out for the first time I would just recommend using a shirt that you're not super fond of necessarily. By the way, if you like my nails, I did this DIY manicure and pedicure using Madame Glam gel polish and they were nice enough to send me a kit to try and I added some extra glitter on top of the awesome gel nail polish. I hope this video gives you some ideas for potential designs for your own projects, and if you've done any cool t-shirt projects, I would love to see them. Feel free to use my hashtag DIYWithJenny on Instagram or YouTube, and that way I can search and find your projects in the future. And share them! This portion of the project where we cut and weaved the shirt, I streamed onto Twitch and that was pretty fun. I don't usually do this type of fashion content on Twitch, but I have been kind of looking for different ways to be more expressive. I've been wanting to try new things on my Twitch channel, so it was a good opportunity to try something different and also, um, yeah. <laughs> well anyway, after all this effort, I do like the way the shirt turned out. And we have the other two tank tops. I'll try to come up with a, a plan for the other two tank tops. But in the meantime, I hope you like the way that these ones turned out. This one at least turned out pretty awesome. I'll wear it. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, it does fit and everything. I'm actually wearing that shirt we just weaved. I think it looks all right. I like this new shirt, I'll totally wear it. I'll probably wait to do these other shirts because I want to plan them out a little bit better. Also, I went to Trader Joe's and they had this stuff, watermelon facial. Ah, it smells good. Ah, yeah. Have a good day, friends, and thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, and I'll catch you around. Have a good one, bye.